Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. And this one is gonna be against Shrimp. So as you can see, I am using the same team that I've been using the past few games. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at what they are using. So, uh, looks to be a uh, pretty powerful looking team there. Um, definitely have some big threats as well as some interesting things. So, what do I want to lead with here is the question. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go with the Geico Lizard there, the Heliolisk. We'll see how that turns up. So there she is, and it uh, looks like she's going to lead with the Frost Moth, which is actually fine since I did lead the Heliolisk. So um, I think probably just going to uh, play it safe and Volt Switch here. And so just get some chip damage on this thing. It is going to take it down by a little less than half, which is good. Um, and I'm going to get that mandatory switch. So I think we're going to go ahead and come in with... Hmm. Uh, actually, good... Uh, you know what? I think... Hmm... Eh, we'll go with um, the Joker here, the Conkel Dur. So it's kind of a crapshoot at this point, um, depending on what you predicted. Just gonna go for a play rough, actually. Yeesh. Now that was unexpected, but um, that is only gonna take me down by about a third, and uh, I do get burned from the Flame Orb, which is of course what I wanted. So um, I think I'm just gonna go for the Drain Punch here. Um, and it's actually going to outspeed me and go for the hurricane. Lands it, and eesh, that is going to knock me out. So that sucks, actually. So that's going to knock me down to five Pokemon. So um, that's not great. But um, I think I'm just going to go right back into the Heliolisk here. So, uh, yeah, just running a mixed set there. Kind of surprised me a little bit, but that's okay. Um, based on the damage output of the Volt Switch, I believe the Hyper Voice should be able to take care of this thing. So we're just going to go for that. And that is going to take out the Frost Moth and uh, drop her down to five Pokemon as well. So that works out. So then she's going to go ahead and come in with the Sandaconda. So I am packing... Um, Surf, so I could just go for that, and um, I don't know if it will be enough to take this thing down outright, though, since it is kind of bulky. But if I don't do that, I, I don't really have well, the switch into Mantine might not be too bad, or actually, the switch into the yeah, well, you know what. Mm. Yeah, we'll go for the switch. Since I, I'm not completely confident I can take this thing out with a surf from Folks is kind of bulky. So we'll come in with the uh, the mothership here, the uh, Ore Beetle, and it's holding a soft sand, and it's going to go for a high horsepower and hit me with that. So not going to do a ton, even with the uh, boosted, actually, from the soft sand. So um, that's fine. And I think, not sure what she's going to want to do here, but I'm going to hope that she wants to stay in. So I'm just going to go for a Giga Drain here. So she is going to stay in, so that's good. And the Giga Drain will take this thing down by about two thirds, which is nice. And uh, that is going to heal me back up to full temporarily as well. But that is going to uh, activate the Sand Spit to uh, create the Sandstorm on the battlefield as well. I should go for a Stone Edge, and uh, that will take me down by a little more than half. 
Um, but I am max HP, so I actually take that pretty well. And that is going to activate my weakness policy to give me that uh, sharp attack and special attack increase. So that is pretty sweet. And then um, I think I'm just going to go for another Giga Drain this turn to hopefully uh, regain a little more HP if she decides to stay in and uh, sack this thing off. But no, she is not going to do that. She's going to go for the switch into the Dragapult instead. So that is a nice play on her side. So I'm going to hit this thing with a Giga Drain, which takes it down by about a third, which is not too bad, actually. Um, and that's going to put me up to a little more than half then. And uh, we are both going to take that sand damage there. So that leaves me at right about half. So I don't really want to switch out because I don't want to lose my weakness policy boosts. But I don't think I can take an attack from this thing either unless she decides to set up. So I think I'm just going to stay in and go for the shadow ball here to play it safe. She's going to go for a phantom force actually. So that's interesting. So... The Shadow Ball is not going to do anything. And then we're both going to take that Sand Damage. So since it's a two-turn two attack, I know it is just going to knock me out outright if I stay in. So I think with that information, I'm actually going to switch to the Bisharp, which is max physical defense. So should be able to take that relatively well on a resisted hit. So we're going to come in with Samurai Jack and uh, take that Phantom Force, and that's not going to do much of anything to me, fortunately. And then uh, she's going to take that Sand. So I can't imagine she's going to want to stay in on this matchup, actually. So I think... Mm, yeah, I really can't imagine her wanting to stay in here, so... I think I am just going to go for the Iron Head here to try and nail whatever she... Yep, she's going to go for the Switch, and uh, she's going to switch in the Colossal, so um, hopefully I can get some damage here, and uh, I do take it down by a little more than half, which is good, and um, that is going to be uh, it for the Sandstorm as well. So. Um, based on that damage output, I believe a Brick Break, I should definitely outspeed this thing, and uh, Brick Break should actually just take this thing down outright, so we're going to go for that, and that is going to take the Colossal out with a critical hit, I don't believe that mattered though, but oh, the Flame Body is going to activate to burn me, so that kind of sucks actually, <laughs> So, um, but that is going to get rid of the Colossal, dropping her down to four Pokemon, I do take some Life Orb, uh, Recoil as well as the burn damage, which leaves me with about half health, but unfortunately getting burned on my physical attacker there on the, the contact, that, that kind of sucks, because that's definitely going to limit what Bisharp can do here. So, um, she's going to switch back in the Sandaconda, so um, I think I'm just going to actually Sucker Punch here and see how much I can get. I don't know if it'll be enough because of the burn, and no, it is not, unfortunately, enough. Um, dropping that thing into the red and then tripping the sand spit, actually, to uh, create the sandstorm once again, as I do take more damage uh, from Life Orb, and then a high horsepower will definitely take me out from that range. So, um, Bisharp goes down. Um, that's okay. Uh, that will leave me with four Pokemon. Um... So, I think um, I do have a couple different choices of what I can come in with here, actually. Um, but I think I am just going to come in with the uh, Mantine, actually. So, um, I think I'm just going to play it safe here and go for the Ice Beam. I don't really have any reason not to. And uh, she's just going to stay in and sack this thing off, so that's fine. And uh, the Ice Beam will definitely take this thing out from that range. So um, that is going to drop her down to three Pokemon, as I am going to take some Sandstorm damage. And then I'm just going to gain that health right back with the Leftovers, so that's not bad. So we'll see what she wants to bring in here. And she's going to go for the 
Hatterene, actually. So, I think I'm just going to stay in. I am max special defense, so I should be in decent shape to take um, really whatever this thing does to me. So, I'm just going to go for a Hydro Pump to try and get as much damage as possible here. So, I'm going to hit her with one of those. And it is going to do a little over half, which is nice. She hit me with a Dark Pulse in return, actually. Um, so, that's not going to do much of anything at all. Um, and then we are both going to take the sand damage, so, and then I'm going to regain some health with the leftovers once again, so that's not bad. So, um, I think I do actually need to go for the hydro pump to take this thing out, because I don't think anything else will be quite enough damage. Um, so I'm just going to go for the hydro pump again, hopefully I don't miss, and I don't miss, so that's nice. So I'm going to hit nail this thing with the hydro pump. And that will take down the Hatterene. And uh, that is going to drop her down to two Pokemon, so that is definitely great for me. And I will take the sand damage again, but just heal it back off with the leftovers. So, uh, looking pretty solid here. Um, we'll see what she wants to bring in. Going to go for the Dragapult, actually. So... Hmm. I think I actually do kind of want to save this um, for her last Pokemon since it should completely wall the Inteleon. So um, I think I am just going to switch back in with um, the mothership here. The Ore Beetle basically is fodder. So just going to switch that back in. And uh, just going to go for a Phantom Force, actually. So that's fine. So that's going to be it for the Sand, actually. So, um, yeah, just going to go for a Shadow Ball. This thing's definitely going to hit me first with the Phantom Force. And that is just going to take me right out from that HP. Um, so that's going to uh, knock me down to three Pokemon, but that's okay. Um, so I am going to come in with the Heliolisk once again. And I am Focus Sash, so I know I can should be able to take any attack. Um, and uh, I'm going to go for the Dragon Pulse, which should take this thing out from that range. So, oh, but no, she's actually going to go for the Dynamax instead. So, yeah, I almost forgot about that. <laughs> so here comes the Dynamax Dragapult. So now I don't think actually I can, the Dragon Pulse will be enough to take this thing out. Um, but I do outspeed it actually, which is nice, and it is not quite enough. Um, unfortunately, to take it out. So you can hit me with the Max Worm Wind, and that is actually not even going to drop me to my Focus Sash there, so that's fine. Um, it is going to cut my attack, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so since I am um, special, of course, so just going to go for that Dragon Pulse again, and uh, that is going to be enough to take the Dragon Pulse out. And that will drop her down to just one Pokemon. So that is definitely fine for me. So, uh, her last Pokemon is going to be the Inteleon. So I think I'm just going to um, go ahead and go for a Hyper Voice here. And I do outspeed this thing as well. So the Hyper Voice can knock this thing down to about... Uh, Quarter. Um, she can go for a snipe shot, actually, uh, not realizing I had dry skin, it looks like. Um, so that is actually going to just heal me instead, so uh, that works out. That definitely works out for me. And she's just going to actually forfeit right there. So um, that is going to be a 3-1 to one, uh, victory for me there over Shrimp. Um, that was a good match, interesting match there. Um, so, um, definitely if she would not have quit, would have just uh, taken her out with one more attack there at the end. So, um, but 
Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.